welcome to the 77 portal. What awaits you? Purges, messages, adjustments, and recalibrations. Wonder, adventure, great learning and enlightenment. As the collective and indeed entire creation shifts, your body is also affected. There's a great surge of power being utilized and that you are part of. Tap into the ancient energies that will be a key in your journey moving forward. Hello everybody, this is Mandolin and thank you so much for joining me for this special message on the 77 portal. And thank you to those of you that have stuck by me and encouraged me and come back to get the knowledge that I've been able to bring down. As I said, today's message is on the 77 portal and there is going to be some astrology involved, but only to the extent of the energies that the planet are bringing to help understand how this shift is, is affecting you. And I am in no means an astrologer or a numerologist I'm simply having conversations in extra, extra dimensional situations. As you can see, we are at astroseek.com. I just like this site. I use different ones, but this one's easy for me to navigate. I'm not going to do like your regular astrology. I'm going to talk about the things that popped and spoke to me when I looked at this chart in this area if you look it looks kind of like a, a almost upside down pyramid you see and that's always a power structure to me it speaks of a power structure um, a relaying something energy wise another thing that catches my eye is where some of these planets are and what their actual degrees are. So we come down here and this to me really speaks a lot. Venus and Mars are both in Leo. Jupiter is hanging out over here in Pisces. So Jupiter is expansion, the guru energy, luck, abundance. And Pisces is of course breaking through to that higher realm, that mysterious realm. And let's look at what the degrees are one degrees 44 minutes uh, so in here we have Saturn and again Jupiter is retrograde so that means kind of taking a closer look Saturn is in Aquarius freedom creativity Saturn is about structures governments institutions look at the degrees 12 degrees zero minutes in retrograde again let's take in a closer look Neptune in Pisces. Neptune is like the dream world and Pisces again that that higher spiritual realm. Chiron is Aries 12 degrees again. Just to give you a second here because I do want to take a moment and tell you why I enjoy this. This is figured for midnight in at in my location, my coordinates. You can go down here, you can change the settings, but if you keep scrolling down, you get the interpretations. So if you follow this a little bit, then it will actually help you to learn. And you can do so just by following your own chart. You go in, you create an account. It, it is a good, to me, a good site. It helps me to learn. And I do use other sites as well. So as I'm looking at this, what's so important is here we have Venus and Mars, okay? The lovers, divine feminine, divine masculine, those are the energies. This is the story that these planetary energies are actually telling me. And they're in Leo, the place of the heart, the place of courage, the place of truth. For so long, the divine feminine has been muted, has been disregarded 
has been oppressed in a lot of ways. And this goes into when we start talking about these groups with judgment, it doesn't matter how you group things, there's going to be a play for power in it. So with, with Venus over here at 12 degrees, what does 12 mean? Well, think about it. Time, you know, clocks, calendars, quantity, you got a dozen, you got a foot. All these things are based on 12 at this current time these things of structure and so we have over here Venus at 12 standing up determination change adaptability and where do we have it leading to its opposing Saturn in retrograde saying I'm standing up to this structure and you have to listen and here we have standing next to her we have Mars standing next to Venus, lending the support, healing those wounds, those traumas, those hurts, those longings. And we have them standing together, balanced, supporting with the heart and the courage and the truth, backing them up, facing the structure, the institution, the government, the definition and Jupiter is over here hanging out in Pisces you know retro looking things over again at 1 degrees 44 minutes 144 so we have these 12s over here okay we've got Saturn as a 12 and Venus is a 12 well if you 12 times 12 is 144 that tells me that these energies are magnifying exponentially the growth that is involved right here with the guru, with expansion, with spiritual abundance, luck. Now, another thing that really spoke to me is we still have Chiron and Aries. And I have a Chiron and Aries, and I, so I've learned about it a little bit. The basic question of Chiron and Aries is do I even have a right to be here the wounded healer and then turning it inward this is something that I came in to heal to to balance to transmute in this lifetime and so I've become very familiar with it we have no Libra energies you know the justice the balance and what do we have in Sagittarius? We only have one thing in Sagittarius, and that is the South Node, what you bring in to overcome. And then the North Node is what you come in to accomplish. And that really, that really strikes me that it's in Sagittarius, because let's go ahead and light off the fireworks like we did on the 4th of July, and let's come bust this stuff forward. <laughs> um, and again, Neptune in Pisces that's just that's two dreamy energies so you're looking at magnification there especially since Neptune is retro and it's got time to sit and kind of ponder a little bit oh what I did leave out is eight degrees okay eight is balance infinity uh, power the energetic flow so we do have some of that where this is not being applied for the balance and all so I'm glad I remembered that. But that's what I basically get from looking at just the chart and the astrology and letting the energies communicate with me. Okay, and to jump quickly over to the message. And this message again comes down from the Healers Collective for you to utilize. As you reach into your deepest heart, take an inventory what should be released what should transform what should remain just as it is are there new energies to consider your eternal soul is the true portal here the seventh realm and dimension expresses guides and angels they are ready to help you flow forward you are a guardian of energy and knowledge. The Divine Masculine the Divine Feminine are standing together in truth, courage, and balance. The Divine Feminine is 
reclaiming her power with the support of the Divine Masculine. The structures and institutions will no longer suppress and define her. The Healers Collective progresses with the activation of energetic balance and harmony to establish the new way in the collective. Be the divine aspect of source and create with consciousness, confidence, and compassion. Embrace the love that strengthens you. Acknowledge it. Embody it. Open the door that leads to your next adventure, your sacred journey. I hope that that is helpful. I hope that it resonates. You, again, you are the portal because what you create will be unique to you as it binds together in the whole tapestry being created as a collective. So I'm about to lose my voice. And again, be kind to yourself. There will be physical ramifications here and just be in a state of peace and love and gratitude and you will find the satisfaction so until next time happy shift everybody